What up players, it's Warboss Tay up in this mud. Today I wanted to do a really quick take five with the Warboss video. So take five minutes out of your time to uh, to hang out and to talk, chat about Britunians. That's right, the one of the red-headed stepchild, um, stepchildren left in the Warhammer Fantasy range. Now that the Wood Elves have gotten their uh, update, hopefully, I mean, I'm filming this in June of 2014. Hopefully the Bretonians will see some love soon. So I've got the horses here for a commission job that I'm doing. And we've got six Grail Knights and they're magnetized on this metal base. All this was done before I got it. All I did was paint it. I want to talk today about um, choosing a color scheme. So uh, the good thing about this was that the client was able to provide me with some pictures of what he wanted and I was able to copy it exactly. But for those of you who do not have an inspirational website to or pictures to reference, what I suggest would be going and looking online for Bretonian color schemes or for anything, um, you know, medieval, uh, medieval knight kind of, of uh, inspiration. And you'll find some really, really great stuff uh, this uh, this commission job has lots of quartering, which means that uh, it's divided into four quarters, opposites matching. And so you'll see a lot of quartering. There's also um, lots of faint designs, like this trident design is copied throughout the horses. I call it a horsey blanket. I think there's a there's a, a, a technical term for it. Caprison, caprison, ooh, caprison. You've also got a lot of these diamonds, which some of you who remember my Harlequins will remember. So luckily I've had some experience painting those. And as you can see, they all have transfers as well. They're a little bit shiny because I had to put glass, gloss varnish and microsol and micro seal. But once I paint over them and seal it with dull coat, hopefully it won't be so bad. So when choosing a color scheme for any army, you want to be uh, have a consistent idea, but with Bretonians especially, the tricky thing about them, and one of the things which make them so much fun to collect and paint, is that each one can and should look different from the next one. They've all got individual, like they're not a uniform army per se, they might have, you might do like a central theme, like most of the horses are black, or all of the saddles are black, or a certain kind of brown, but generally you want your, you want your Bretonians to look individual but you don't want them to be clashing with each other uh, so a lot of central kind of unifying themes like the color blue yellow you'll find in even though the blues are not all the same like this blue is a little bit of a different shade than this baby blue over here um, when you put them on a field and stand them all next to each other their lack of uniformity b will um, help them stand out but also uh, having a strong theme and a, a uni unifying kind of kind of theme will help as well. So by theme I mean like lots of checkered patterns, quartering. Um, you want your knights to all be able to look different and individual. Uh, I did some stitching, cross stitching on this guy which I'm very proud of. So um, yeah, use the internet, go online. I'm sorry, I just kind of showed you the horses so far. The riders have not been glued on. I can put them on right now and show you which horses they match up with. Here's that guy, and I'll, I'll do a I'll do I'll do a proper uh, close-up video on each of these. There's one. Um, but yeah, as you'll notice, you want your riders to match your steeds. These are all the old metal Grail knights, which I'm really really stoked that my client was able to to acquire because they're they're a lot of fun to paint they're almost like the um, they're almost like the what am I trying to say like the <laughs> they're almost like the plastic knights the 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 poses and the the different ways that everything looks really unified they, they it looks a lot like the plastic knights that they have now but it has that weight and it looks it, it looks it feels good um, they're fun to paint and um, they're, they're just more fun to paint than plastic so and at least I think so you also want a unifying color between or unifying pattern between your rider and your mount so even though there's no purple on the horse there is the yellow diamond pattern which we are 
replicating there. All of these were based off of pictures that I got too, so I'm pretty happy with how I was able to follow follow the pictures. It's this crazy star starlight design on this model that I was able to to replicate. And there's the banner. Still need to do a little bit more highlighting work on that. But um, yeah, so choosing a theme, choosing choosing a color scheme for your Bretonians, uh, go 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 with a variety. Don't don't only stick to like red and yellow or black and red or with white accents or something. As you can see, all these knights are different. They all have different heraldry. They all come from different provinces, but um, they're all fighting together. And I think that's a it's a cool thing to do. So thanks for watching. Here is a this was again a approximately five minute video on how to paint or not how to paint, but um, how to plan about think about your Bretonian knights and how to match them with each other while still giving them the freedom to look individual. Thanks for watching everybody. See you in the next one.